Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beats video. So today we are going to be using the swap base versus, uh, I mean, no, the free base, I'm sorry. The free base versus Hammermint. And we actually need to reclaim some of these trees or re just remove them. You know, we don't need to reclaim trees, we need to remove the trees. And yeah, so the free base is a base I made a while back. I gave away like, oh man, it was like 8 million loot. I, I, I don't know, I'm probably off by a lot. But I gave away a ton of loot overnight by just setting my HQ on the side and I just made, it was like a defense log. But, um, yeah, I had maxed out loot and I just gave it away and I got tech like six times and lost it all. But, just look up like giving away loot on youtube and it should come up but yes this is the free base and the only difference only thing we're gonna change here is we're gonna put the hq at the very back and we're gonna see how far we could get i'm gonna be moving a couple defenses around eventually but the first couple times we're not going to be moving anything around and we're just gonna leave it like this so yes this is the free base versus hammerman and we're gonna see how this works and usually people put wards on the other side so it goes this way but me i wrote it this way and i probably will change it eventually put it the other way but i think i mean it doesn't look too bad does it i don't i don't i honestly don't think it looks too bad so i think we're good so let's just jump into the video here and let's just start. I, I already did Fleet 1 because Fleet 1 is just so easy. And that was on my main base. But yes, here we go. He's using barrages to take out the machine guns. That's not going to do anything. And look at this boom cannon in action, okay? It's going to one-shot the warriors. Okay, it's the warriors are just going to destroy it. Ah, okay. So these are actually, it seems like they're kind of high-level uh, warriors. Because they're not, it's taking a little while for them to go down here. Okay, now they're going down faster with everything hooked onto them. And the riflemen are just going to die. And I forgot to boost up my damage. I'll do that after this attack. Actually, we're going to do... We're going to go the day without... We're going to do the day without boosting up damage. And we're going to see how far we get without damage. Because it always boosts up damage. But... As you see here, it's, it's taking a long time for being on... To stage two and excuse me if I always say like dr. terror terror stage two I always get so confused here but look at these cannons one shotting the, the tanks and they're gonna hit that mine and then like no we can't go anywhere Blah. and the sniper tower is gonna be in range here soon but it's not in range yet we're gonna speed it up here for a little bit because it's gonna take a little while and there we go we beat the terror we beat him in stage two Okay, here we go. Fleet number two, stage two, fleet two, whatever you want to call it. Two, something two. I mean, no, this is... Ah! This is fleet three, not two. Here we go. So we're starting out with heavies in riflemen and medics. Medics are always bad because they just kind of, like, heal up all the heavies. And look at all these. Look at all these Zookas. I'm not expecting to go too far... Uh, with this base because look at this. This base is so bad. Look at this. It's already destroyed. It's like halfway destroyed. I think I need to move a couple defenses around like put the rocket launchers a little closer to the shore or something like that. And all these Zookas and Riflemen, the final Riflemen. Okay, Riflemen go down. Now it's just the Zookas. The Zookas are like, no, don't need this. And they're like, boom, 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 boom. They like can't do anything against this base because this base is so OP, you know. It does say free, it's like a troll base because it says free, but it's not free. Nothing is free in this world. Okay, here we go. Fleet number four. It's gonna start getting harder and harder and harder and harder. So he's gonna try to take out a sniper tower. What the heck, dude? Sniper tower is not gonna do anything. So definitely warriors are very deadly uh, because they just do high amounts of damage in a short amount of time. And they're pretty hard to take down. I mean, they're not like super low on HP. I mean, they don't, like, have endless HP, but they're not, like, too low on HP either. And look at this over here. The E is getting destroyed, guys. The E is getting destroyed and plummeled. But it's more it's more the R that's uh, failing here. But all these riflemen are starting to move up, which is not good at all. And gosh, those medics are super annoying. And these mines should help clear it up a little, take away all the riflemen. I'm gonna speed it up again here, put it on times four speed. I'm gonna make a slight a base adjustment if I remember, which I probably won't. But all these, all these uh, 
Maddox going down. Nothing stands in the way of his free base. We are so OP, guys. We are so OP. Nothing can defeat us here. Okay. Okay. Um, we need to make a slight base adjustment. We're going to move this up here. I'm going to move. I love this swap option. You know, I thought it would be kind of useless. And I, we all wanted the base redesign. But the swap definitely makes your life a lot easier. And the new base design thing, it would still be nice to have. I mean, placing mines. All these mines, that's such a pain to do. And it takes forever. So he's just moving in with a ton of barrages here. And he, oh, the Scorcher is starting to come into play. That thing is going to be the biggest issue because it has high amounts of HP. And it's going to take a long time for it to go down with all my boom cannons in the back here. So we might have to move some of my boom cannons up farther, but we probably will lose this. We, well, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely lose this one because now he's bringing in Zookas and Grenadiers and that's just going to clear out my base. It's not even going to be like close and look at that he's already taken down the the boom cannons in the back and he's bringing in a boat of riflemen and now that almost splash is done this is gonna be a pain oh man look at this look at this yes all the scorchers and the heavies are all dead pretty much all dead but all my splash damage is gone because they all took down my splash damage and then all these when I need splash damage I don't have any splash damage okay there we go. That was a big fail. And that's a free base. <laughs> you can see, like, the remnants of everything here. And let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to be... Blah, 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 blah. We're going to move these up. And we don't need the rocket launchers. We don't need the rocket launchers up front anymore. We need them more in the back. We're going to switch it up with this. The flame here. There we go. That looks good. We'll try this again. And if it doesn't work, probably be it for the episode. Because this free base is not easy to win with. And what's he taking down, guys? He's taking, trying to take down the rocket launcher in the back, which is not good. Because that was, like, the main defense power. But all these boom cannons gonna one shot all these heavies and I just need the boom cannons mostly just to focus on the, the scorcher that's gonna be like the main thing if they could do that I think we'll be able to, I think we'll be in a good place would we'll be all set but it's gonna take them a long time to take down these buildings because the only thing here that has a high DPS is the scorcher and the scorcher is going over here now good scorcher is getting very wounded this uh, cannons over here Yes, it goes down. The Scorcher goes down already. That's a very good sign. And this is actually going very well here. And there's only a few heavies left. And once the heavies all gone, the rocket launchers are just going to tear apart the riflemen and stuff like that. And this one back here is still going to be able to fire, which is good. He'll take down some riflemen and zookas. And over on this side... It's looking good. I think we'll be able to win this with my rocket launchers in the back. Definitely gonna clutch up the raid for me. And look at they can't do anything against a free base. You can't handle the powers of the free base. Here we go. Okay, so it's it's looking kind of shady right now, guys. Uh, this rocket launcher is gonna go down. It might just be a time battle. This rocket launcher in the back needs to stay alive, or I'm dead. <clears throat> I'm, like, so dead if that rocket launcher goes down. Okay, take down the Zookas because they do the four ground back. Yeah, they do the four ground damage. And we need the, all the four, da four ground damage to stay. But look at this. They're all sitting at an angle, so they'll toss straight ahead, and barely any will go over here. But there is still a few there, so one more shot, one more grenade, and it should be down. Yep, it goes down, and it looks like it was another fail, guys. Ugh. Okay. We're going to try this one more time, and then if it fails again, we will end the episode. But everything looks so good. I'm going to move this rocket launcher up here. Mines are in a good place. Actually, mines are in a terrible place, but I'm not, like, feeling... I'm not going to move them all around, because that is such 
a pain to move mines. There has to be an easier way to move mines, guys. We're going to space it out here. We're going to place that there. I'm kind of debating of anything else I want to do. We're going to move some cannons up. We're going to move this back. Cannons up. Oh, we just messed up the formation of the free base here. Okay, we're not going to do that. Well, we can still do that. We're going to go switch, swap here, and then we're going to move this down here. Okay, it's going to have a longer R. Actually, I'll just move it up there. There we go. I'm going to drop a shock mine right there. The shock to scorcher, which is the main damage of the first wave. And then we should be able to win. So he's going to try taking down all of these buildings once again. But he isn't going to be able to do too much. And the shock mine should shock the scorcher. If it walks into it, which it just did, which is good because that's like the main damage of the first wave, like I said before. And the scorcher is already getting pretty damaged. Now all these... Boom cannons need to go to work on all these heavies, and we should be sitting in a very good place. But this time, the Scorch is going that way, and it's going to go down so fast. These things do so much damage, and nothing can beat them but the first couple waves, which beat them. Okay, here we go. I hope you guys like this sound. I love this background sound now. I could finally hear what's actually going to happen. Happening. So this is good. Mortars taking out Zookas. The main goal is taking out the Zookas ASAP because, like I said before, they do the 4 damage. And then the Grenadiers do the background damage. And if you don't know what a thing I'm talking about there, I made a Gookie video. I'll put it on the card on the screen. It's called the Gookie Strategy. It worked good. It's a little old though, so quality might not be up there. And it's actually looking pretty good. That's what I said last time and I lost. I was like 100% confident that I'd win, but it's actually looking a lot better now because all the Zookas are pretty much gone, and now all we need to hook onto is the uh, Grenadiers. No medics, which is nice. If there were medics, it'd be so hard to beat, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling very confident. We're going to speed it up here because Grenadiers are super, super slow. Good. All the grenadiers go down, and now it's just a time issue. They're never gonna have enough time in the rocket launcher. It's just gonna tear apart all these grenadiers, and it goes down. Come on, you're telling me you have to sit through all a minute? I speed it up four times, so it's gonna be about 20 seconds, but 25 seconds. But it's crazy, cause the rocket launcher, in like a couple more seconds. Look at, they're not even going by there anymore. There's only like one every 20, 30 seconds. So. We beat that stage. We're just going to go on and do one more attack on the next stage. Now, I'm not going to optimize my base for it because the video is getting kind of long. He is bringing a Scorcher. I saw medics. I saw tanks. So, it looks like a pretty hard one. But he's leading off with Zookas. And this base is so bad with leading off with Zookas. Oh, gosh. That was like the complete opposite of what this base was made for. Okay. So now the, the Scorcher is going out. I could no, I, I, there's no way I could beat this with this base. I just, even if I optimize it, like the medics, super overpowered, guys. And there was some really, really, really bad leg here. And it's not looking like we'll win this. Now the Grenadiers are coming in. Yeah, we're definitely not winning this. There's mines are super nice. But I think these mines are kind of useless right there. And the base goes down. Okay, then. I only killed 200 riflemen and a couple Zookas. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.